right, some time ago I did a series on zener diodes and that got me thinking about um, LEDs. Because I know that most people never think about the reverse voltage of LEDs. And there's a lot of uh, strange things about the reverse voltage of LEDs. So first of all, um, let's take a look at the forward voltage of an LED on a curve tracer. So I think you can see it's starting to light up there. So let's take a look at what goes on. It, it goes and then it starts turning on. So we start the middle here, it comes up. We're at one volt per division, so about one volt, one point, about 1.75 volts it turns on. So the forward voltage is 1.75 volts. But what about the reverse voltage of an LED, okay? Let's uh, change the scale here. So um, here I'm at 10 volts per division. So 10, 20, 30, and then about 35 volts, it starts to uh, starts to break down in the reverse direction, okay? So is that all LEDs? No, uh, LEDs are different. And uh, in the old days, uh, the reverse voltage of LEDs was terrible. We didn't know how to build LEDs very well. And the reverse voltage was just awful. And um, it was a good mark of whether the LED was built robust or not. So if you're... LED had a bad reverse voltage characteristic. You knew it wasn't going to last long. I remember somebody told me once that we sold, I used to work for Hewlett Packard's uh, LED division, and somebody told me that we would sell the LEDs that worked just fine in the forward direction but had pretty bad reverse voltage characteristics. We would sell those to Radio Shack. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I was told. Okay, so so here's, here's a red LED. This is a pretty modern LED, so it's pretty robust. Let me put in an older LED. I don't know what vintage this is, but uh, we'll just have some fun with it. Um, it's not too old. I mean, so, some of the LEDs I have in my garage are super old. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, um, let's see, I put it in upside down. Put it in upside down. Oops. Just a second. All right, so uh, I'm going to be looking at, uh, if you can see it there, I'm going to be taking a look at this LED. Uh, I think you can see it's just, it's just starting to glow now, okay? And so let's take a look at it on the curve tracer, and you can see we're at 10 volts per, to, per division again, so in the forward direction, one volt per division, it, it turns on about one and a half volts, okay? And then the reverse characteristics is 10 volts, and then it starts to go funny, right? At about uh, 12 volts, it starts to it starts to have an angle on it. Anytime you see a straight line, that means that you have a resistor in there, so it becomes resistive, and it didn't have a lot of stuff going on there. So this might have been okay. This might not have been okay. Like I said, I don't know much about this, but but it, it's definitely different than the other one, right? Okay, so let's put in a different LED. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can find, find an interesting one to take a look at. Let's try this one. All right. And, uh, you can see this one has not very good reverse characteristics at all. So here at two volts per division, we're at about 2.2 volts forward and then about two, four, six, eight, about eight volts, it starts breaking down in the other direction. Uh, this is a, a white LED, so it's a, blue, it's a blue LED with phosphor on top, so it's a blue LED, and it's made out of gallium nitride. The other one's probably, uh, oh, uh, gallium aluminum phosphate, something like that. Uh, anyway, um, it doesn't really matter, but we see that it has different reverse characteristics, all right? Uh, let's take a look at another one. Uh, this is an older red one. I'm not, again, I don't know sure what the vintage of these things are. Uh, oh, let's see, that was in upside down. Okay, put it this way. There we go. All right, so uh, let's put it back at 10 volts. So 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, oh geez, look at that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, yeah, this one's, this one's going way out there. So this is a really robust, robust LED. 
All right, so I'm going to go back to this uh, red one that we were looking at. This is an older, an older red LED. And I'm going to zoom way in on the reverse characteristics. I'm going to 50 microamps of vertical and 2 volts of, of reverse. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 10, it starts to break. And if you can see, if you can see that, it's doing funny things. It's, 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 it's broken down one junction there, and then it seems like there's a second one there, and then it goes for a while. Oh, and then it breaks again there, and then it breaks again there. Yeah, so there are multiple, multiple things that it's breaking through in the, in the layers of the LED. The LED is not just a PN junction. It's a whole bunch of different junctions, and maybe we'll talk about that. But there's a whole bunch of layers to an LED. And you can see here that these may be different quantum wells or different uh, voltage structures inside the LED. But yeah, the reverse characteristics is very, very interesting. And I'm sure people who are in the know <laughs> can look at that and say, oh yeah, that's the so-and-so layer, and that's the so-and-so layer breaking down, and that's the so-and-so. Uh, it's very, very interesting. Let's see if we can find another LED that we can zoom into that has, has some inf information on it. All right, so this is one of the interesting things that I saw. Um, I'm going to be putting in this right red LED here, and we will look at the reverse voltage characteristics of this, of this, okay? And so I have it set up so it looks like it's in the reverse direction, and it's uh, 10 volts per division, so 10, 20, 30, 30, 40, okay, so was that 10? Yeah, 40, about 40, 44 volts, something like that starts to break down. And uh, we can see that it kind of turns into a resistor. It has a break and then it has a resistive element to it. But the break was the interesting thing on it. I saw some funniness going on there. So let's see if we can zoom in on that. So we can use, the, we can use some knobs on this machine here to zoom way in. Uh, kind of here towards the center. Uh, so we're at one microamp per division. And... Uh, you can see there's a little bit of capacitance here at this low current. But what I'm interested in is that there are basically, um, I still don't know if you can see what I see. Let me zoom in here. Let's move this one over. Let's see if I can move it over further. All right. There we go. I can zoom in about as far about as far as I can there. Hopefully you can still see that on camera there. I know the shadows in my in my uh, garage are pretty bad here, but there's some funniness going on right right at the breakdown point. Uh, and I believe what we're seeing is either tunneling or avalanching. I believe it's tunneling on the active layers, and this may have multiple quantum wells, and that's, so that's why we're seeing multiple places uh, where it's happening. But I think somebody who really understands the device physics of these things probably knows exactly what that is. But I believe it's tunneling through the quantum wells of the, uh, of the actual LED. Um, because this is increasing voltage, right? We're going more and more negative, And then suddenly when it breaks, it goes back. Um, and so you see some reverse characteristics. Instead of going forward, it, it, it backs up a bit, and I believe that's the uh, breaking down of some of the uh, some of the junctions there, and you might be some, see some uh, tunneling effects. Anyway, I thought it was interesting, uh, kind of a weird little video, but uh, yeah, reverse characteristics of diodes is really strange. I think um, it may be an interesting idea to use some LEDs as uh, voltage regulators. <laughs> I don't know how good they are, um, but uh, yeah, like that uh, gallium, gallium nitride LED was six volts reverse, and maybe that would make a good zener. <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I've never read anything on the reverse voltage characteristics of LED, whether they're stable, whether they're terrible with temperature, they might be, oh, I know what we can do. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, let me shine a, let me shine a, a flashlight on the, uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm shining a flashlight onto the, uh, 
<laughs> uh, let me back up a bit here. I'm shining a flashlight onto the LED and it's doing funny things. So it's generating some currents in it. So let's go back out uh, and horizontal. Let's get rid of these things. And let's go back to zero. Let's see if we can find zero. Here's zero. Here's zero. And okay, here's where it's breaking down. I'm going to shine the uh, shine the flashlight. Out. Oh, look at that! It makes it bend. Yeah, it's very interesting. And uh, kind of gets rid of the scenery or the uh, uh, tunneling type thing too. Like adds as adds carriers, so it doesn't do the tunneling thing. I don't know. Makes it more stable, that's for sure. Okay, lots of fun with LEDs. I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, probably LEDs aren't a good thing. <laughs> aren't a good thing to use for uh, for Zener diets.